Hello everybody, it's Josie here. I'm going to be doing a TBR for the month of March today. So this TBR is going to incorporate my TBR for the Femme Fan Tale Readathon, uh, which is hosted by the lovely Jean uh, Bookish Thoughts. And I really love it. Um, I love the idea of focusing on female fantasy authors and it's, I just think it's a great readathon, so I really want to take part in it. <laughs> the only kind of um, spanner in the works on this one is that I'm going to be away uh, in Amsterdam over pretty much the course of the readathon. So I've got like an ebook version of one of the books I want to read. I'm going to try and get as much reading in kind of the traveling bits and all of that. So, so we'll see how that goes. But I have three books that I want to read for that particular readathon. And then for my own personal goals this month. So this is probably going to kick off a few months of, of kind of reading for me. So at the moment, um, I am obsessed, <laughs> it's gonna sound terrible, I'm obsessed with training at the moment. So I have started uh, kickboxing and also weightlifting and I've been doing that for a while now and I adore it, I love it. Um, I, I like combat sports, I'm really interested in the history of women in boxing and in combat sports and I love, I've always loved any stories about powerful women, um, both mentally and physically. And for me, and you know, March we've got International Women's Day on the 8th, um, it's uh, Women History Month in March, so I think it's a good month to kick off my own kind of reading obsession at the moment, which is about women and boxing pretty much and women and fighting um and in women in sport and just courageous kick-ass wonderful women um so i'll be talking about some of the books i'll be reading for that my own personal kind of monthly tbr goal and then let's start with fem fan tale so i've got three books the first one i've got here is sub rosa by amber dawn quite a cool cover look at that um so this book is um i'm just trying to see what category it would fit into so this book sorry i'm a bit disorganized and <laughs> this book would fit into the category of a standalone um and it, it would also fit as a as a new author to me so this one sounds kind of intriguing it says it's a stunning debut novel that subverts and transgresses the classic hero's quest adventure to create a dark post-feminist vision not for the faint of heart sounded great it kind of fits in with my kick-ass feminist uh women view for march so i thought that would be interesting we'll see what that's going to be like then the next one is a one that i've been dying to get to wilder girls um so also awesome cover so this is rory power i think a lot of people have read this by now but it's basically supposed to be a queer um, kind of body horror, Lord of the Fliesy type scenario. Um, and this one I found on my library's ebook um, app as well. So I've got that on my on my phone ready to go. So I'm hoping that I can read some of this while I'm away as well. And this falls into the category of new to me author as well. It's YA. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be some weapons involved. I know in... Um, Lord of the Flies, they're kind of fashioned weapons, so that'd be interesting. And then the third book I'm reading is this one over here. It's The Queen of Iflaria by Effie Kelvin. Um, this is the first book in a series, so it fits the, the series. It also fits queer, as Wilder Girls does. Um, again, it's new to me. Um, and it is, so it, it is like, um, it's a queer story where you've got a a girl who's gonna go marry a prince, but then she marries, I think the prince dies or something, then she marries the princess instead, and it's set in space. So queer kind of love story, powerful women set in space, sounds amazing. I know that Jean loves the series, um, and so does Boston Reads, who are two of my favorite booktubers, so I'm I'm looking forward to reading that. So those are the Femme Fantel ones. Then let's move on to my kick-ass women in boxing. Um, so I have a couple of piles. So the first one is non-fiction. Um, so the first book I've got here is The Boxing Diaries by Marion Dunn. And this is a woman who took up boxing and later in life, I think in her 50s, yeah, aged 50. And it kind of tells about her story and how it affected her body and her mind. And that's really, for me, what's been the biggest thing for me in terms of regular training um, and martial arts and, and kind of reconnecting my body and my mind and my spirit. Um, not only do I feel healthier and more full of energy and my body feels better and I'm like working on that because that is long term that is not a quick fix but also my mind feels so much better um and I'm so much happier um so I think this will be really interesting to read and probably relate to 
than one of my heroes, Ronda Rousey. Um, my fight, your fight. Um, I adore Ronda Rousey. Uh, so Ronda Rousey uh, was a judo uh, champion. So she um, competed, did she compete in the Olympics? I think so, so it was world champion in judo. And then she moved on to uh, mixed martial arts and she became a UFC fighter. And she is probably one of the greatest athletes, one of the greatest female athletes. She's kick ass, she's amazing. I adore her um, and this is her autobiography just love Ronda Rousey, um, so inspirational. Then the next one is Crazy Is My Superpower by AJ uh, Mendez Brooks. So again, um, this is about AJ kind of overcoming, being teased, being bullied, being kind of the nerd when she was younger and getting into martial arts um, and becoming a UFC fighter and just really showing the world what she can do and being a strong, amazing woman. And then the other book in this vein, there's going to be a few, is this one over here is Rise. Uh, and this is by Paige Van Zandt. And again, Paige is a, a martial artist, um, a UFC fighter, and she's overcome some major, major odds to get where she is today. Uh, and I think this is just going to be incredibly inspirational for a lot of reasons, um, but certainly a topic that I'm very, very much interested in. So Paige's book. Then we've got a whole slew of fiction books based around boxing. Now this first one's really interesting. So this is Chess Boxer. So this you can see is a proof copy. This is one I got second hand. Um, but this is uh, about a girl who is a chess champion, very young a teen girl. Um, and she then finds out about the sport of chess boxing. Now, I will be totally honest. I did not know this existed. I thought the author made this up. No. Chess boxing exists. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. So I was online looking at some videos and they play a round of chess. So you get the chess board out and, and you play some chess. And then after, I think it's three minutes chess um, for the women, it's three minutes chess. And then they jump up and they box for two minutes. And you can either win by a knockout in boxing. You can obviously win by checkmate. It is fascinating. So I think this is gonna be interesting. Um, then the next one is this gorgeous book here. It's called Gloves Off. Um, and this is by Louisa Reed. And this is uh, about a story uh, about a girl who's being bullied and how she kind of uses boxing to empower herself and fight back. But it's also written in verse, which I find really interesting. Um, the post X was beautiful and amazing and was written in verse. So I think this is really interesting to combine kind of a sport book, um, a young adult teen book, and then have it in verse, I think will be really, really interesting. Then the next one here is Girls Can't Hit. Um, and this is uh, about a girl, Fleur Waters, and she's dreamed of three things. So scoring a goal in hockey, dressing as a Saxon peasant, and climbing into the boxing ring. Uh, but life is full of surprises. And so as it turns out, it's Fleur. And I think this just sounds really fun and kind of right up my alley. And a, a teen taking up boxing. Love it. Then in that same vein, we've got The Ring by uh, Bobby Pyron. Uh, Pyron? Yeah. And just to let you know, I actually have some more coming, so I'm just totally obsessed. So this again is about a 15 year old, so this is a teen, um, and she's reeling from her dad's uh, expectations. She's kind of got a lot of family expectations and a lot of things weighing on her. And I believe she takes up boxing as a way to exercise some of that and, and again, help with her mental and physical state. So this sounds amazing. You can tell this is an ex library copy, again, second hand. Then I've got two books that have the same name. So I've got Shadow Boxer uh, by Tr uh, Tracia Sullivan. And then we've got Shadow Boxer again uh, by Jessica L. Webb. Um, and these two, so this one is, uh, I think one, uh, Jessica L. Webb has won a Lombardo Award. So this is queer. Um, and again, this is after having a tough childhood. I believe this is adult though. Um, and she's, uh, your, your main uh, protagonist, Jordan, um, she's kind of had problems with uh, relationships and she's helping out street kids. Um, and she's helping them out also with like a project um, in terms of boxing. Um, and I think that's gonna be really interesting. And this is an adult uh, book as well, which is really nice. And then this one, this shadow boxer is, again, this is YA. And this is a 17 year old um, martial arts fighter. and she basically, I think, gets involved in Hollywood martial arts training, which sounds really cool, um, like does stuff in Hollywood and martial arts. So that one's going to be really cool as well. There's a, th th there's a few more coming. Oh, and on the autobiographies, I'm currently listening to Believe um, Nicola Adams's autobiography. She was the first female to win a gold medal for boxing at the Olympics. And she's amazing. I adore her. Massive inspiration. So I'm listening to that on audio as well. 
and then three more hang in there so i've got three books that are just about kick-ass women so the first one here is kim harrison's dead witch walking this is a very battered second-hand copy i pretty much had this whole series at one point and i read it when i was younger i loved it i'm dying to reread it um this is a vampire witches uh, supernatural series but i remember loving loving the protagonist in this um and she's just very cool rachel rachel is her name yeah um I just she's she's fantastic and uh it is a fun 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 read and isn't that the coolest cover i love that also when i was younger i remember suggesting a song so kim harrison the author um she does like playlists she used to put playlists online for her characters because she's really into music and i remember suggesting a song um and kim harrison actually kind of writing back and going yeah this is great i'm gonna put it on the playlist which really made me very happy um then in that same color palette is this one um it's jet black and the ninja wind um i don't know too much about this but again 17 year old this is ya and she is a ninja and that's kind of all i needed to know i love female ninjas so that sounds like it's going to be fun and then the last one i've got may seem a bit of a curveball but stay with me this is hello Girl hello girls by Brittany cavallero uh, and emily henry and this is a retelling of uh thelma and louise i believe um and they said it's a bit darker it's a bit more fun uh, it's kind of YA, um, telling of Thelma and Louise and two tough women. And again, I thought that fit the theme for this month really well. Plus, I've really want, been wanting to read it. Plus, it's a really beautiful book. And I got this gorgeous hardback secondhand. And it's, I don't think it's been read. It's like brand new. Um, so that's it. So that is my, that is my reading month. Um, there will be more. There will be others. Um, I will do videos throughout the month do two books all of the, the good stuff and talk about what I'm reading uh, and maybe share a bit more about what I'm doing kind of training wise and personally and also talk about my holiday possibly so um yeah and that's it and I will speak to you all again very soon have a great March um let me know if you've read any of these uh what you thought any recommendations any boxing books um and I will speak to you all again very soon thank you for watching Bye bye